In this video, we're going to go through how to get the most out of your Windows machine when using it for audio. First, we'll start off by making sure your system is up to date. All Focusrite device drivers are available on the Focusrite website, which you can access by going onto Downloads and selecting your product in the drop-down menu. Before we begin the optimization process, here are some basic tips to keep your Windows machine operating smoothly. First, don't let your computer's boot drive get too full. Always make sure you leave about 20% of your computer's main hard disk free. You can do this by performing a search for settings in the Start menu, clicking on System and then selecting Storage. Make sure enough storage is available. The bar indicates how much has already been used. Another tip, if you're going to be running large projects involving sample libraries and multiple plugins, we recommend that you have at least 8GB of RAM. And finally, make sure you're using a suitably short USB cable, ideally the one that comes in the box, or one that is shorter than 2 meters. Let's start by optimizing your Focusrite software. Make sure the Focusrite Notifier software is easily accessible. In the taskbar, on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, make sure the Focusrite Notifier is visible. You can do this by dragging and dropping it into the main part of the taskbar. You can also use it to access the buffer size settings of the device and quick launch either Focusrite Control or Scarlet Mix Control, depending on your device. If you're unsure as to what buffer size is, here's a simple explanation. When recording audio into your computer or playing sound, the computer needs time to process incoming and outgoing information. This is referred to as the buffer size. If you have a large buffer size, this can cause latency, not great for recording, but will be less demanding on your computer for playback. A smaller buffer size leads to less latency. This is easier for recording, but becomes more demanding on your computer. There is no right or wrong buffer size, but you may have to experiment with different sizes to get one that works for you. Remember, not all products come with Focusrite control or Scarlet Mix control, so you may not see the option to launch either program. Step 2. USB Selective Suspend The USB Selective Suspend feature allows you to disable an individual port without affecting the operation of the other USB ports. This feature can sometimes cause problems, so we recommend disabling it. Start off by performing a search in the Start menu for Edit Power Plan and open it. In the window that opens up, click on Change Advanced Power Settings. Change the USB Selective Suspend setting to Disabled and then click OK. For a laptop, you'll have two settings. One for when the system is plugged in, and one for when the system is on battery power. Select Disable on both. Step 3. Disable startup programs. Startup programs is a good way of identifying the software programs that launch automatically when you turn your Windows machine on. The more programs you have, the longer it takes to start up, and you may have unwanted applications running in the background whilst using your audio applications. Perform a search in the Start menu for Task Manager and then click the Startup tab. This will display a list of programs that have been configured to start up every time you turn on your PC. The impact of each program is categorized as low, medium or high. You can identify the highest by selecting the Startup Impact tab. Identify the programs that you don't want and to prevent them from starting automatically, right click on its entry and select Disable. Step 4. Disable system sounds. At times, the computer sound effects could interrupt your recordings. Here's how you turn them off. Go to Control Panel and then select Hardware and Sound. Navigate to Sound and then select the Sounds tab. Under the Sound Scheme menu, Select No Sounds and then OK.
The next steps are high performance settings. If you're using a laptop, the following steps may affect your battery life. High performance custom power plan. Your default window settings were designed to save power. Here we'll be creating an additional custom power plan. We do this so your default Windows power plans aren't affected and you have access to a power plan optimized for audio. This means you will always have maximum processing power. Perform a search for power and sleep settings and under related settings, select additional power settings. Here we can choose or create a custom power plan. In the menu on the left, select Create Power Plan and then select High Performance. Give your plan a name. We recommend something audio related. In this case, I've named it Audio Workstation. Where it says turn off the display and put the computer to sleep, select Never for both and then click Create. You will now be directed back to the Power Options page where your new custom power plan, Audio Workstation, should be selected. Select Change Plan Settings and then Change Advanced Power Options. This will open up the advanced settings for your new custom power plan. Expand USB settings and then disable USB Selective Suspend. On a laptop you will have two options one for when you're on battery power and one for when you're plugged in. Select Disable for both. Now expand Processor Power Management. Set the minimum and maximum processor state to 100. Again, if you're on a laptop, you'll have two options. Set both to 100. USB power management settings. This optimizes how your machine manages your USB ports. Perform a search for device manager and open it. Find universal serial bus controllers and click expand. Over each entry, right click and select properties. Open power management and make sure the allow the computer to turn off the device to save power option is deselected. Apply this process to all entries under Universal Serial Bus Controllers. If an entry doesn't have power management visible, like this one, don't worry, just ignore it and move on to the next entry. We hope this video has helped you with your Windows 10 machine. If you have any issues, you can contact support using the link below.